Uh, the ones that uh, I suppose influence me most would be, um, I would say, the 70s, really, American 70s films, starting with uh, Mean Streets, um, The Godfather, and uh, Sidney Lumet films like Serpico, uh, Dog Day Afternoon, films like that. It was my mum, really, she sort of had a real interest in that um, period, you know, that decade, that golden era in American film. My mum loved, yeah, John Cazale. Uh, she uh, always sort of uh, spoke so, so highly of him. And I mean, if you look at his, his, um, his filmography, I mean, it's, uh, I don't think he, he, he put a foot wrong. Even in Dog Day Afternoon and in The Godfather, these sort of unappealing characters and quite sort of cowardly characters and, and sickly characters, he, he really sort of, I don't know, was very good at releasing any ego and, and really sort of bringing these characters t t to a very sort of real space without making them, you know, sort of cliches or, or judge, judging them, as it were. Well, I suppose growing up in Ireland, sort of primarily in the sort of south, we, well, down in sort of County Kerry, we didn't really get um, BBC One or any of the sort of UK channels. For some reason, we always got all the American programs that were happening here in terms of, I mean, you know, the series that were running, like Magnum P.I., Chips, Knight Rider. So I kind of guess I grew up with more of American sort of television than, than English television. I actually kind of know all the theme songs to them as well, which is kind of funny. It's kind of like an obsession. <laughs> Uh, and then it goes That's another section of the song, it comes later. I didn't want to go through the whole sort of uh, guitar bit. It goes on for quite a while. I wanted to be Tom Selleck, never could grow the mustache, unfortunately. I, I love Tom Selleck. I, I, you know, I think he, you know, uh, he did such a great job. And, um, Magnum P.I. I, you know, I don't think many men can carry off wearing those short shorts like that, you know. First movie that I auditioned for, I think it was Pearl Harbor. I was going up for Ben Affleck's role, so he kind of, I think, just pipped me at the time. I had two auditions, and one of them was Pearl Harbor, and the other one was Band of Brothers, and I managed to, to bag Band of Brothers. I believe it was a place called Longmoor. And um, we were out there, and there was like real army people training out there, which was always kept us sort of in check. You know, after a couple of days, actors think they're soldiers. You know, <laughs> and then you see the, you see the real thing. You know, hundred yards away, and everybody becomes an actor again very quickly. When sort of hunger sort of came about, and I thought, okay, well, you know, this is kind of very sort of heavy material. You know, I mean, in terms of people are smearing excrement on the walls and, and starving themselves to death, and and, uh, for an hour and a half. I met with the doctor and a nutritionalist to begin with on, on sort of when we were setting off on the journey and, uh, and how I was to go about to lo uh, lo in losing the weight. But I, I knew that I wanted to go somewhere where the sun was shining. It was great. I was down on Venice Beach and it was, it was the perfect place to, to fast. You know, I would walk up the beach every day, power walking. I was just one of many. And I never realized how much food is actually on television. So I just, yeah, I stopped watching adverts on, uh, yeah, because the hamburgers here are, are, are the best, really. So, you know, I, I didn't like seeing mouth-watering Carl's Juniors or, you know, <laughs> in and out burgers uh, every sort of 15 minutes. I didn't notice things after a while. I mean, it, it, you know, in the first sort of three, four weeks, you, you notice areas where you're losing weight. But then after a while, you, you don't see it anymore, and then you kind of go a little bit crazy, because I was really trying to stay strictly to the calorie count. So sardines, tins of sardines were always good, because it had the total calorie count, including the mustard sauce that it would come in, or, or the <laughs> olive oil, or whatever. You could have it with sauce or without. I don't know, sound effects, I always sort of like, I don't know, have a thing about doing it. It's almost like an OCD thing, even to like, you know, those things where you would press the walk sign, you know, <laughs> I just rented a Harley Davidson for the first time. I like this birds. 
I think that's a Robin Redbreast. Formula One I followed. Okay, so it's like... <clears throat> no. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs>